What's up? Design for a purpose fans and finding your purpose fans. Welcome to another episode of Finding Your Purpose. Well, today I wanted to just talk about a movie, you know, to give yourself a break from all the craziness that I usually talk about to give you guys a break and myself too because it gets depressing. So, what I wanted to do was just talk about a movie. So before we get started, I want to tell people to please not forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. That way, when I get to a thousand followers, I can start my giveaway. And with that being said, let's get started. I want to talk about the movie The Deliverance. I know there's an older version, but I wanted to speak on the one that's on Netflix. Man, man, man. First of all, Lee Daniels did his damn thing. Lee Daniels did his thing. Um, I was shocked to find out that it was a true story. And... The reason I was shocked to find out that it was true, because most of the movies that they say they're a true story, they're never really, like, close to where you're at. And it's always, like, I don't know, in the movies, they always do strange... Well, the people, before they move into these big houses that are off, you know, far away from the other people, or or I should say the public, this one was different for two reasons. One, no, um, no, it's not a color thing, but I was shocked to see that this was a biracial family that went through this. And being the fact that they were actually close, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like, it may have been like the LA area somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. I know it was California, I know, and um, so that just, it shocked me, like, not in a bad way, I was just like, wow, you know, to find out that these stories are really, really true, these things do happen, and um, yeah, it was very eye-opening, to, cause you know most people they're like, no, I don't, I don't believe in, you know, spirits or no, I don't believe in certain things like that. Ah, no, no, no. But to find out that that stuff has really, it did really happen. It was shocking to the point to where it's like, okay. This really does happen, and it makes you think, like, when you go to buy a house or you rent or whatever, either way it goes, you're moving into a new home, especially if it's an older one, or, you know, it doesn't even have to be that old, it's like, who had this house before it makes you want to ask questions like who had this house before and why did they move you know it makes you question due to the fact that you know things that happen in this movie are real um anyways i won't go too deep into it because i know I'm not sure if everyone has seen it, and those who have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Well, anyways, this house is kind of demonic, 
and you know so the, the the you know the kids start doing things out of the ordinary and the youngest son starts talking to himself and his mom's like hey what are you doing i told you about talking to yourself what are you doing you know and he just starts he's the first one that starts doing things out of the ordinary and then you know it starts getting into the other children and at first the mom's like you know you guys need to stop acting stupid stop doing things you know because she was thinking okay they're just upset you know in new surroundings and you know they're upset because their father is not here with with us they're just trying to cause me problems and then plus her mom was also staying with her too and her mom you know had cancer so she's like stress you know having to deal with her kids you know she's thinking they're upset you know because they moved you know new area you know the kids have to go to new schools and the mom well her mother is you know sick she has to take her cancer treatments and things like that you know so everything was piling up on her so she just thinks that everybody is making things difficult for her. She doesn't realize that, no, there's something going on. And then it starts kind of, you know, getting, like I said, it started in the youngest son first. And then it starts getting in other kids, you know, and they start misbehaving and she she had problems too as far as um like keeping her kids her kids were in foster care at one point so she got them back and then they started you know living with her like I said everything wasn't easy because her 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 and her husband were having problems and so then she had to move but those of you that know something about the foster care system once your once your loved ones get out of there if they're still young they'll still have a like social worker check in on them and so that's what they were doing and her social worker were like her social worker was like "Uh uh-uh something's not right you know these kids are they're not doing what they should be doing in school and when I come to visit you know they have all these marks on them you know and bruises and then when I ask questions they act like they don't know what's going on. They don't tell me the truth. So, no, I'm not going to recommend that your case is closed. And, you know, so she's frustrated, too, because, like I said, at this time, the mom doesn't want to believe that things were happening around the house because it wasn't happening to her at that time. So... She's kind of looking weird in the social worker's eyes and so are the kids because the social worker knows something's going on, but she's not sure what it is. Now, they noticed there was a car parked a car across the street. And this lady seemed a little strange. Because even when I was watching the movie, I was like, well, that's strange. Who, Who is she? Whatever. But apparently, the lady parked across the street, she knew what happened in that house. Because she was like, 
uh, I don't know what you call them. I, I guess you would say a prayer warrior, whatever. She had to like pray the demons out. So eventually, it took her a while to admit who she was. And eventually, she told the mom, you know, there's there's something in that house. That's why, you know, your kids are acting the way they are. And at first, the mom was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Because, you know, she was still in denial. But it took the mom choking the kids and, like, throwing them up against the wall. And then all of a sudden, she just dropped them. She didn't realize what had happened either. It took that happening... It took her doing that to understand that, hey, something isn't right. Something isn't right. Something is wrong. So she calls that lady because the lady gives her the card. She calls her and is like, "Can, can you help me? Because by this time, the kids were acting crazy at school doing all this. And they had got taken away again. So she's like, can you help me? I need my kids back. Something isn't right. You know, so the lady comes over and eventually prays the demons out of her son. And the social worker's there too. So she sees for her own eyes that no, no, no. This is not right because the boy literally crawls up the wall and he jumps down and starts to attack. But, you know, she prays the demon out of him and it takes a toll. But eventually they get things in order. And, you know, she gets the kids back and then you know the social worker is like she begins to be on her side she's like I'm sorry but you know those kids been through a lot but I am gonna recommend that they get back with you because it's not your fault and you know, because she's seen for her own eyes that, you know, something is wrong. But of course, you know, at first, you don't want to believe this type of stuff. But it was real. So eventually, you know, it all turns out good. I don't, I don't want to go into too much more for the people that haven't seen it, but I would recommend you see it. And like I said, Lee Daniels did a good job. He really did. And like I said, it it's it shocked me because that this was close. And that house remained up even after they left that house remained up up until not too long ago i think they finally knocked it down it says something at the end of the movie about it remained up and then now it's knocked down but there's no way but yeah i wanted to share that though because it it does make you think like when you move into new homes well new to you but they've been there a while it kind of makes you think who was here before and why did they leave because you know things like this it's true like things like this it happens but of course you would never find that out 
I guess until you experience it, because nobody's going to tell you, oh, you know, in this house, such and such happened, because they know you're not going to buy it or rent it, whatever. You're going to stay as far away from that property (laughs) as you can. So, you know, it was just interesting to see something like that. And being the fact that it was actually in, you know, uh, actually in the state that I'm in. It was like, what? This really happened? And, wow, it was like the modern, like, because as I stated before, there is an older version, but this is modern, and it actually happened not too far away. So I was like, what? Oh, oh okay. It's it's an eye opener, but yeah, you guys. That's I just wanted to talk about that, give you a break from all the other craziness. If you haven't seen it, go see it. And as I said it before, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one. And remember, we are all designed for a purpose. Therefore, we all have a purpose. So if you have found it, stand in it. Don't let anyone take you out of it. And if you haven't found it, it's okay. Keep searching. No matter how big or how small, it's there. All right. Love you all. Stay safe. Catch you next time.